let's do the Pizza Hut problem. So in this problem, uh, we have a sample of 220 uh, consumers who were surveyed uh, about purchasing a pizza from Pizza Hut. So uh, the, the idea was we, we call up each one of these people and we have a price for a certain Pizza Hut pizza in mind. So it's a two topping pizza, large. Um, and then we ask them whether they would choose Pizza Hut or some other pizzeria of their choice. Um, so the, the price is gonna get manipulated. Let's go take a quick look at the data set. If I, uh, if I, let's do a names on it. It's called pizza, I've already brought it in. It's available up on Blackboard. And we have these three variables. If I, um, if I do a summary on pizza, now what we'll see is that male is a zero one variable. It takes the value one if the subject is male, zero for females. Um, prices range from 849 to 1459. So we, we offer one of these price points. And then the respondent either says, I'll take the Pizza Hut pizza, so that's a value one of purchase, or the respondent says zero, uh, I don't want the Pizza Hut pizza. All right, there's a variety of things that we have to do, fit a logistic regression, um, state the estimated regression equation, and so forth. So let's go do that. Um, recall that uh, whenever we have a, a dichotomous outcome, so purchase is the, is the dependent variable here, whenever it's dichotomous, we want to use logistic regression. Um, in order to fit a logistic regression R, we'll just make some fitted object, and we have to use the GLM function instead of the LM function uh, to actually fit the thing. So GLM is a lot like LM. We give it a formula. So in this case, purchase is our dependent variable. And then we want to make this a function of whether the subject is male or female, and then the price. Now, the next argument has to be family. The, the default, you'll see, is Gaussian, which is going to give us a normal linear model. Uh, we don't want that, since we want to fit a logistic regression. So we type in binomial. Binomial indicates that we've got binomial errors. It also tells uh, R that we want to use the logistic function uh, as, as the link function, if you remember the, the GLM lecture. And then finally, we need a data set. So the data set is pizza. So it looks just like LM, except we added that arg extra argument, binomial. Now let's do a summary on fit. And the output looks a lot like usual output. Um, I'm going to write it up here. So let's say that pi equals the probability that the respondent selects Pizza Hut. Now, our dependent variable is the log odds. So you can write log. Uh, what is this going to be? Pi over 1 minus pi. Oops, wrong one. And the, the equation here is 1.22, call it, uh, plus 0 0.04 times male. So we'll just use a big M for male. Minus 0 0.25 times price. So... Let's just think about what this looks like. Uh, for females, so for females, i.e. m is equal to zero, the equation is gonna be the log odds, let's just call, say, call the log odds here, will be 1.22. Now notice the next coefficient goes to zero, so it's really plus 0 0.04 times zero, so I'll just write that minus 0 0.025 times price. Okay, so um, what we have is, you know, a downward sloping demand curve. As price increases, the log odds that a female chooses this goes down. What's the equation for males? So for males, we have the log odds equal to, now I'm going to put this in parentheses, it's, it's really 0. 1.22, and it's going to be plus 0.04 times 1. We'll write it like that if we want. 
and then minus 0 0.025 times price. Now we can really rewrite this as just 1.26, I guess if I do the math right in my head, minus 0 0.025 times price. So we have the same basic um, line, and, and by line I mean we get the same slope. However, the intercepts for men and women are different. Um, if we wanted to visualize this, we could do something in R. So I'm just going to kind of improvise this. Let's do a plot, and I think the prices range, well, I'm, I'm going to go from 0 to 15. Um, actually, let's do something like this. So my x values will be 0 to 15, and my y values will be something like uh, 0 to, to um, the largest value here is like 1.3. Uh, so, and then if I say type equals n, that's going to give me a blank uh, plot plotting area. So it doesn't actually plot anything. Uh, a slightly better way to say this would be the y la label is equal to the log odds, and then the x label is price. Got to type this stuff right. All right, so that's what this looks like. Now, if I do an AB line, uh, remember my uh, equation for female is 1.22 and then minus 0.25. So I guess that's my, my intercept, minus 0.25. And so that's what the equation looks like for um, females. For males, it's going to be 0.26, but it has the same slope. And we'll make the color two. So men will be shown in red, women will be in, in uh, black. And so that, that's the, what we see. You know, in essence, the higher the price, the lower the log odds of choosing Pizza Hut. Now out in our range, you know, our prices are out in this neighborhood, the log odds are negative. Now remember a log odds of zero corresponds to a 50% chance of buying Pizza Hut. Um, so in this case, um, you know, the, log, the, the probabilities are all going to be less than 50%, less than half. All right, so we've just estimated the line. Let's go back and, um, and then look at uh, the p-values for these. Okay, so the key thing to note, if we, if we go back to here, um, the coefficient for male so 0 0.04 or 0 0.03769, if you want more accurate digits, tells us the difference in the intercept for males and females. So if we look at, let's go back to this, AB line, um, let's do a vertical line at 0. So, so this is the value 0. What this is saying is the difference between these intercepts is 0.04. All right, so that's the interpretation of that coefficient. Now, I can do a test of whether that's different from zero. So let's go do that. H naught, and let's just say beta one equal to zero. Now in English, what this means is males and females have the same intercept. The alternative is that beta one does not equal zero. So in other words, males and females have a males and females have a different inter intercept. Now my p value is 0.9177 something or other down here. So that's sitting right here. Notice it doesn't have any stars. Um, let's just call it that. And that's greater than, we better, so this is equal to that. That's greater than 5%, so we cannot reject H0. We don't really need that coefficient in there. Um, however, the price coefficient is different from zero. The negative value, again, tells us that the slope is a negative, meaning there's a downward sloping demand curve. As we increase the price, the probability of choosing Pizza Hut goes down. All right, so let's go back to the problem. We, um, 
we've interpreted the coefficient. We really haven't interpreted the odds ratio yet. So let's talk about the odds ratio. Uh, the odds ratio is the exponent of the coefficient. So if I do coefficient of fit, I get those coefficients that I had. If I take the exponent of this, the odds coefficient, the odds ratios, um, describe the multiplicative effect on, uh, on the odds uh, for a unit change in the x. Okay, so if we go from a 0 to a 1 on the male variable, so in other words, uh, we go from female to male, the odds get multiplied by about 1. So now remember when we multiply by 1 it doesn't change it, so the odds uh, barely change uh, between males and females. They're both about, about the same. However, um, for every additional dollar that we charge, the, the odds of choosing Pizza Hut um, get multiplied by about 78%. Okay, so they go down by 22% roughly for every additional dollar. The odds go down. So that's the interpretation of those odds, odds ratios. Um, test whether each variable is significant. Well, uh, male is not significant, price is. So there is no difference in the interceptive for males and females. However, the slope is different. Don't bother with the overall uh, test of significance. R does not make it easy, and it's not that important. Let's look at the next part. Predict the probability that a female student will select Pizza Hut if the price is $8.99. So let's go back to R, and we can do this the, uh, the hard way or the easy way. Let's start with the hard way. Um, so here are our coefficients. I'm, I'm going to save these coefficients to make it a little bit easier to type. So now I, I, you know, B is this. So if I take B1, that's my intercept plus b sub 2 is the coefficient for male, so I multiply that by 0, and then I take plus b3 times the pizza is 8.99. Now this gives me an estimated log odds of minus 1.03, but um, that's not, I don't really want log odds, I want the probability, so I have to use that formula that we had. It's just going to be 1 over uh, 1 plus the exponent of the negative of all this. So we'll close the uh, first parenthesis, second parenthesis, third parenthesis. So the probability is about 26% that a female will say Pizza Hut, yeah, give me the Pizza Hut pizza if we're charging $8.99. Now an easier way is with the predict function. So if we say predict fit, data.frame, now male is zero since it's a female, price equals 8.99. This is going to give us the wrong answer. Now notice what it's giving us. It's giving us what, I, what I've called in class the linear predictor. Okay, so we need to unload it this. So to unload it this, I have to add another additional argument. I want to say type equals response, and now we get 26%. All right, let's now go do all of these in one go. So 899, then if we charge 1149, what happens? If we charge 1399, what happens? All right, so the answer is at the price point 899, there's a 26% chance that the student uh, this um, subject says Pizza Hut. If we increase the price to 1149, the, ch the probability of choosing Pizza Hut goes down to 16%. We increase the price further to uh, 1399, it goes down to about 9%. Moving on, uh, part 7 says regress purchase and price for males only. Note the equation. Regress uh, price on purchase on price for females only, and then test whether they're different. So let's go do that. So I'm going to bring back that command, and let's 
call this fit two. So fit two, we'll get mail out of it, and then we're going to use a subset command. Subset equals mail equals equals zero. So this is going to be the equation for females. What this equals equals means is we've got a logical equals. We're going to test whether male is logically equal to zero and keep those cases. If I do a summary on fit two, here's my equation. So let's go take some notes. So for females only, my log odds equal minus 0.94 minus 0 0.06, if you round correctly, times price. Now notice uh, the price coefficient isn't different from zero. So what that means is it's plausible that this coefficient equals zero, meaning um, if I change price, there is no change in the dependent variable, which is the log odds ratio in this case. All right. Oops, I just did something I didn't mean to do there. All right, let's redo this for men. So if I change this to male equal equal one, let's go get a summary of it. Here's the equation for men. My log odds equal 3.2 minus 0 0.44 times price. So it appears that men um, are more price sensitive. So this is saying uh, if you charge very little, men are very likely to high, charge to, to select Pizza Hut, but as the price increases, the log odds that they choose Pizza Hut goes down pretty quickly. So men are very price sensitive is the way a, an economist would say this. Whereas females are not so likely to choose Pizza Hut, uh, but you know if they like Pizza Hut, they're going to do it regardless of what the price is, because the, um, the, the slope is close to zero. Now the question is, are these different? Are those two slopes different? I, mean, I guess we could we could plot these if we want, and what we what you would see is very different slopes. Well, in order to do that, we're going to fit a slightly different model. So I'm going to take out the subset command, and I'm going to make this price star mail. So we're going to add an interaction term. Now let's do a summary on fit two. This is our estimated regression equation. So let's go take notes. We'll call this the combined model. So the log odds equal minus 0.9493. Actually, this should have been 93 up here. Um, then we have minus. 0 0.06 times price, okay, plus 4.2 times mail, minus 0.38 times price times mail. Now, I like to rewrite this equation. Let's, let's rewrite it in a special way. Um, I'm going to factor out the price coefficient. So let's write the intercept as follows. Minus 0.93 plus 0 4.2 times male. So all I did is I grouped the first and the third term in this. Now let's call this minus 0 0.06 minus 0 0.38 times male times price. So I grouped the second and the fourth term and then I factored the P out. Now, let's evaluate this equation. For females, so M is equal to zero, what do we get? Well, the log odds equal minus 0 0.93 plus 0 0.06 times price. 
And notice that's exactly what we got before. And that's not, not an accident. So it's, what about for males? So with that, we end up with the log odds equal, now let's see, 0.93 plus 4.2, that should be minus 0.93, let's get that right. So that's my intercept, and then the slope is going to be point, minus 0.06, minus 0.38 times price. Now what is this? Well, this is exactly what we had before. So if you take 4.2 minus 0.93, you get 3.2. Then if you add those two up, you get minus 0.44 times price. And lo and behold, that's exactly what we got before. Now, the reason I write it this way is because this coefficient right here tells us the difference in the slope from men and women. So whenever this slope is equal to zero, the slope for men and women are the same. When that is non-zero, men and women have different slopes. So really what we want to do is be testing h naught beta 3 equal to 0. Now in English what that means is men have the same slope as women. The alternative is that beta 3 is not equal to 0. So I guess we'll write not equal like that. Now if we go to the output, notice that coefficient is it's significant. It's barely significant, but it is significant. So the p is 0 0.0496, which is barely less than 5%. So we reject h naught and conclude that men are more price sensitive than women. And so that's it, well, at least with when it comes to Pizza Hut. All right, so that's the Pizza Hut problem. There's a lot of good learning in there. I encourage you to try this on your own.